Hey guys, this is Jonti. I'm back from the video. And I want to talk about smugglers run and the kind of things that should have been in the DLC and the kind of things that are right now included in the DLC. The first thing I really appreciate about the DLC is that the kind of missions and the variety of missions that we get are just so wonderful. I mean, it's like a real package that we're getting. I mean, the dogfights, the planes, the kind of planes that we have. Some of them are so good, others not so good. But the whole concept is going in probably in not the right direction once you're talking about the uh, DLC because just to start out the DLC you need at least like a 2 million or 3 million or plus hangar. Once you spend that amount you expect that the kind of money that you should be getting in return should be closely in the proximity of that amount where you get to make that amount back as well from the DLC. But the problem is that once you're collecting crates, one crate is like just 10,000 um, in game GTA dollars and uh, if you need some more if you want to collect more in a hurry then you need help from other players which is not very consistent at times plus once you're trying to sell as well it's just the same problem other people are not consistently trying to help you out at all the time so it's a big issue and plus once you're playing in the free mode obviously it's like dangerous other people are trying to help you know cut you off as well and then you have to try, try and find a lobby where just you're just alone. Then you have to try and find some friends who would be willing to come and hold you out. And obviously that's not going to be for a long time. Maybe at most maybe it look like it depends on what kind of friends you have online. I honestly don't really have any of those. So that's really why I'm, most of the time I'm just trying to do the things by myself. And that takes a lot of time. And once it takes a lot of time then obviously it's just not worth it. It's it's probably better to do some contact missions or it's probably better to do the car stealing thing in CEOs um, in comparison to the smugglers run and smugglers run if you compare it with the original CEO crates concept there's just a slight difference where you don't really have to purchase the, the crates but the profit is less for example if you're purchasing a crate for 2000 or 8000 two crates in the normal missions then you get like 22,000 for two crates or something like that approximately but in this one you're getting just 10,000 for one so it's, it's the math is almost the same it's like two crates 20,000 so every other crate that you add on the business is just 10,000 more and then after that you have to wait till you have collected enough crates of one time so that you get some kind of a bonus there as well and for that you have to wait a lot of time, grind a lot of times and then you have to make sure that the last mission that you do for the sales that works out just well for you because if somebody else messes up if you're making a sale a big amount like above 400,000, 500,000 just for example you need other people helping you out as well in the sales mission they need to be flying some other planes as well and that all doesn't always work with the CEO missions that's the main problem so it's in my opinion this is a very good deal scene if you want some more content if you just, you just want to uh, spend some more time with some more missions you get some more variety of missions than this one otherwise if you want to make some more money it's just not that good it's probably better if you just stick with the biker missions uh, with the combination of car stealing thing in the CEO you, that's the best mix that I could have found out by now and obviously gun running as well you just uh, fill up the stock and just wait for like 10 hours or so for it to fill up and then after that you make the sale or you make small sales in that as well so those kind of missions work better in comparison to smugglers DLC maybe in future once we have some more promotions running on where Rockstar would decide that it's going to be a double play like double XP double money for those kind of missions maybe then it's going to work out for that week only otherwise it's just not worth it it's kind of a disappointing DLC in that scenario where if you make some more money it's just not going to work out that way so with that joint team signing out you let me know in the comment section if you like the kind of missions that are being played in the smugglers DLC or not and if you'd like to continue pursuing the same kind of missions to make some more money or if you'd like to switch to something else in the game online. So thank you for listening.